Hi friends, welcome to Time Python series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw text on a foliar map that responds to the zooming of the map. That means if I zoom out the map, my text is shrinking and if I zoom in the map, my text is growing. That means my text which I have plotted on the foliar map is responding to the zooming of the map. You can see I've already created a blog post and video on drawing text on a Python foliar map using DYCon. So basically what happens is that your Python code will run and it will generate an output HTML file with text in it. But then I got a comment from one of our viewers requesting to make the text responsive to the zoom so that the text doesn't look ugly. So this is the motivation for creating this video. All right, so let's try to solve this problem. You know, once the output HTML file is generated, the Python code can't interact with this output HTML file. That means you can't program the user interaction in Python because once the output HTML file is generated, Python can't interact with this output HTML file, right? So what you have to do is you have to program this interaction inside this HTML file only. So you can add behavior to your HTML files using JavaScript. So that's what we want to do now. So when you create a map using Folium, the HTML actually contains a leaflet.js library. And when you zoom out and zoom in the map, the leaflet.js library produces zoom start and zoom end events, which you can use in your JavaScript code to make your text respond to the zoom event by changing the font size. So in order to understand how we are going to write JavaScript in this output HTML file, let's try to run the code we have created in the previous video and previous blog post. If you did not watch the previous video on drawing text on folio maps, I will leave the link of that video in the description so you can check out that video first and then check this video out. So I'm just copying the code from the previous example. So I'll just copy this and I'm going to take a blank folder. I'm going to open it with VS code and I'll just create a new file. I'll just name it index.py and in index.py I'll just copy paste this code. So let's see what this code is doing. It's just importing the folium library and then it is creating a map object and on the map object it is creating a marker and I'm specifying the location of the marker and I'm telling that the marker should have a pop-up if I just hover over the marker and then I'm telling that the marker has an icon and this icon is the div icon and this icon is the text which is being displayed in place of a marker. So this is how you create text on map. You just create a marker but you say that the icon is actually a text, a HTML text and then you add this marker to the map object and once your map object with the required text on it is created we are injecting html into the map actually here you can see while creating the text on the folium map i have given a class called map text so what happens is that each text element which i am plotting on this map will be given a class name called map text so what i'm doing here is that i'm styling all the text elements by the class name so you're telling that all the text elements having the map text should have these styling properties i'm telling that the color is red the font size is large so this way by injecting html we are controlling the styling of the plotted text and at the end i'm saving the map object as output.html so if i just run this you can see we have generated an output.html file so let's try to open this html file in a browser and here you can see we got our output generated as a html file and the text is not responding to the zooming because we did not program that behavior actually. Now let's try to take a look at the output.html file. Here in the output.html file, you can see it's just a HTML file and actually Folium library uses leaflet.js library. So here you can see when you try to create a map, it's translating that into JavaScript. And here you can see leaflet.map and the map is getting created as per your Python code. And here you can see the layers being created using the leaflet.js library. So basically Folium is just a wrapping layer over the leaflet.js library. And here you can see in our output.html, our injected HTML is appearing here. We have told that we have to inject this HTML and this HTML is being injected here. And in that way, just we inserted the style, we're going to insert the JavaScript into this HTML and we are going to program our desired behavior of responding to map zoom events. So that's how we're going to solve this problem. So I'm going to change the injected HTML and I'm also going to add a script tag. So script tag allows you to inject JavaScript into HTML. So I've inserted a script tag and I'm going to write type equal to text or JavaScript. So I'm just giving the mime type. So all right, we have inserted a script tag in our HTML file. We want our text size to respond to the map zooming, right? That means the text size should actually be a function of map zooming. Like if the map zooming is one, the text size should be 0.5. If the map zooming is two, the text size should be one, something like that. So I'll just create a function which converts the map zooming into desired text size. So I'll just create the function as a JavaScript variable. I'll write where size from zoom equal to a JavaScript function. So this function 
will take in a zoom as a parameter i'll just give the parameter name as z and the output will be the text size so i'll just return the output text size so the output text size should be if the zoom is 1 the text size should be 0.5 em the formula would be 0.5 into zoom plus em that means if the zoom is 1 the text size will be 0.5 em if the zoom is 2 the text size will be 2 em so on you can feel free and create your own formula to convert zooming into size or you can even complicate this by creating if else statements and so on but for my use case this fits good and now let's try to use the leaflet js emitted events upon map zooming and attach an event listener that responds to the map zooming if the map is actually a variable and let's try to think that the variable name is map object in javascript so let's try to think that the map is in a variable called map object right so to listen to the event of this map object i'll just write map object dot on and i want to listen to the zoom end event that means once the zooming is done zoom end and the event listener will be just an anonymous function it's just a javascript function i'll just write function you can write whatever you want in this function so this is how i can hook to the zoom end event of this map object so let me try to recap it again if the map is stored as a javascript variable called map object you can write map object dot on zoom end that means you are hooking up a listener to this event of the map object so upon changing of the zoom you can write a function that can respond to this zoom right all right so let's try to define our function now in our function first let's try to get the map zooming let's try to create a variable called map zoom and map zoom equal to the map object dot get zoom so this is the leaflet.js function which can be used to get the zooming level of the map object. So I got the map zoom and now I have to convert this map zoom into a text size, right? Where text size equal to size from zoom of the map zoom. So now I converted the map zooming into the text size. So now I have to just set the font size of the text elements on the map, right? So I'm going to just use the jQuery selector. So jQuery of dot map text. So here you can see all the text elements which are plotted on the map will have a class name called map text dollar and here i'm giving selecting all the map text class elements and i can set the css of it using dot css the css is font size so i'm setting a css property called font size so basically i'm styling the font size of the map text class elements and the font size will be changed to the new text size so that's it i'm just selecting all the elements which have the class name called map text and setting the css property called font size to the text size we just derived now and that's it we have successfully created a javascript event listener that responds to the map zooming events and in that event we are changing the text size of all the map text elements using a jquery selectors and jquery modifier something like this so this is just jquery syntax and if you don't know jquery it's all right you can just copy paste this code and use it you can even use vanilla javascript to change that font size of the map text elements but this was easy so i just did it you know there is one problem in this javascript you know i'm just assuming that the map object in the output html will be of the variable name called map object but it's actually not true if i see the output.html you can see the map object is created with a variable name something like this so this code will not work because the map object variable name is not map object it's something like this so how can i get the map object so that i can attach the event listener so fortunately there is a function called get name in folium that will give you the map object variable name in the javascript so let me try to use that now so i'll just use the function called map object dot get name so map object dot get name will give you the javascript variable name in python itself so i will just store this in a variable called map js variable equal to map object dot get name so this is the variable name of the map object in javascript right so now i have to replace this map object with this map js var right so i'll just create a placeholder like thing here i'll just surround this map object with brackets and then I'll replace this string to replace this map object with our map JS where so what's happening is that I'm replacing this map object placeholder with the actual map JS variable so the map variable name in the JavaScript so now this code will work so let's try to save it and run this and I have my output.html generated and here you can see our script is inserted and you can see the map variable is also updated and this map variable is the map variable used by leaflet here all right so let's try to reload our output and see whether our output will respond to the html events so here you can see still my output html font size is not responding to my map zooming events so let me try to f12 and see what's the problem is 
here you can see uncaught reference error map variable is not defined i mean why did this happen let's try to see our output html file and try to understand what happened so in my output html file you can see the script tag which actually manipulate the map variable is defined before the map variable definition itself so the problem was that we have attached the event listener to the map variable before its declaration itself so in order to avoid problems like this i can run my script tag after the whole document is loaded so that I, I can be sure that my map variable is declared. So there is a very easy way in JavaScript to run code after the whole document is loaded. So you can do that using window.onload. So window.onload is an event of the HTML window and you can attach an event listener to it. So I'm just writing windows.onload equal to function and that's it. So you can run all your code after the window is loaded. So if I just copy and paste this inside this function, now I'm sure that my code will run after the whole HTML file is loaded. So let's save it and run this again. Let me try to see the output.html. And here you can see upon window loading, I'm running this code. That means I'm sure that my map variable will be created. And after that, I'm running this code. So let me try to reload my output. And if I just zoom in, you can see my text size is being increased. And if, zoom, if I'm zooming out, my text size is being reduced. So one more problem is that I'm getting an initial font size which is not obeying the zoom formula. So if I just zoom out and zoom in, the text size is not the same because the initial text size was not created using the zoom formula. It was just by keeping the font size as large. So I just want the initial text size to also obey the zoom formula. Instead of setting the text size upon the zoom events, I'll just initialize the text size also based upon the zoom formula of the map. So that I can do in the window.onload. So in order to change the text size just upon window loading, I can run some code here that will initialize the text font size. So what I'll do is that I will extract all this function into a new variable so that I can reuse it again. I'll just cut this here and I'll create a variable called var update text sizes and this will be a function and this function will update the text size based upon the map zooming and I'll just give this function as the zoom end listener. I'll call the same function after the window loading. So what I'm doing is that just upon window loading, I'm updating the text size. I'm also saying that upon the zoom end event of the map object, update the text sizes. So now I'll just save it and run this. And if I just reload my output file, you can see the text size is initialized as per our requirement. So that's it guys. Just by adding a few lines of JavaScript, I was able to add a powerful functionality of responsive font sizes in my folium map. You can see I've created a blog post on drawing text on Python folium maps using divicon. This blog post has the previous example where the test does not respond to the zooming and I also created a new section in this blog post where I explain how the text can react to the map zooming by adding a new script tag inside the injected HTML. So you can copy paste this code and practice it for yourself. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching.